Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp, and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I want to take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines, and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware. Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri,
Divisions. Counter. March. Today you will see six divisions comprised of 386 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review command and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Alec Plummer from Danville, Indiana. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the said staff unit on their seventh week of training, the triple threat unit on their ninth week of training, and the state flag unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags that they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 1, 2, 9. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Daniel Schneider. Petty Officer First Class Curtis Russell. 
Petty Officer Second Class, Jesus Gonzalez. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Derek Williams from Binghamton, New York. Division one, three, zero. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Adriana Sims. Petty Officer First Class Crystal Abram. Petty Officer First Class Mike Wolver. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Daniel Galavis from Phoenix, Arizona. Division one, three, one. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer David Avara. Petty Officer First Class Thomas Dawkins. Petty Officer Second Class Tim Adams. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Apprentice Alfonso Brown from Rosenberg, Texas. Division one, three, two. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Michael Williams. Petty Officer First Class Mario Costa. Petty Officer First Class Montana Potts. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Yolimar from Toabaja, Puerto Rico. Division one, three, three. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Travis Blaze. Petty Officer First Class Furman Lewis. Petty Officer First Class Anthony Vallada. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer Airman Apprentice Jesse Villa from Victoria, Texas. Division nine, two, five. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Rodriguez Mitchell. Petty Officer First Class, Dominic Washington. Petty Officer First Class, Daphne Dominic. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Recruit Kaleo Martis from Apple Valley, California. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremonial sideboards, boats in and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. One such tradition is the gun salute. A gun salute is used to mark an event or render honors. Today's reviewing officer will receive arrival honors to include a 13 gun salute. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As befitting the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party? Strategic integration. integration. All right. All right. The guests, the guests may be seated. seated.
Thank you for your special comments, sir. Please rise. Present Arts. Good morning. Before I pray, if a bully confronted you and threatened to take that which was most important to you, 
what would you do? Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, this question is why we are here. To install these men and women who voluntarily rise to be counted with those who take a stand against bullies, injustice, and tyranny around the world. It is their enduring posture, perseverance, courage, and character that we celebrate today. Through these last 10 weeks, every obstacle, every formation, every long night, every watch stood, every short phone call home, every shot fired, and with every question answered, they have proven themselves worthy of the name United States Navy Sailor. Without them, where would America be? Without them, where would we be? They are our coveted 1% that make up what is the greatest naval fighting force in the history of our world. And it is you, Lord, and all veterans before them that we owe our future, our freedom, and our livelihood. For every family member, friend, and mentor, for every RDC instructor and staff who made today possible, thank you. May pride well up from within us. May we always practice justice, love, and mercy, and walk humbly before you. And may we never forget the significance of today. It is through your glory that we endure. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning and welcome to your Navy quarterdeck. I am Captain Ken Frober, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. I would like to welcome all our family and friends attending this recruit graduation today and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, Brianna Ollie T. Oliver Ollie Lewis, Director of Strategic Integration, Rabbi Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command, our guest of honor, Captain Ruth A. Lane, Commanding Officer of Farragut Technical Analysis Center, and our special guest, Captain Jim Belmont, Commanding Officer of Fleet Readiness Center East. I would also like to acknowledge staff from our fleet sponsor, Surface Combat Systems Training Command, Pacific Northwest, sponsoring Division 131. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors and Navy commands from around the world for valuable mentoring and motivation while here in training at RTC. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your service to our country. For all our veterans, please stand so we can give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to our country. Division 925 graduates today. There are state flags before you, providing the 50 state flags, District of Columbia, and U.S. Territory flag, drum corps, and color guard. I would also like to remark that uh, the other two performance divisions, staff and our triple threat, the honor guard uh, units uh, performed at the Memorial Day services around the uh, area this weekend. And so uh, give them a round of applause for representing the I did not mention the five outstanding divisions standing before you here now. Let's give them a round of applause as well. As we chatted about last night, their day has arrived for graduation from Recruit Training Command. The staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basic trained, physically fit, and smart and disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanded training and have earned the right to run the uniform recognized around the world with the symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to introduce you, their Navy family and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly and navigate the journey together, we invite you to learn more about your family resources here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet for Navy Boot Camp Navy Family and check out our website for more information about your new Navy family. Today's graduates will serve as the bedrock of our naval forces and will join other American sailors around the world to defend freedom and liberty against those who threaten us. I can say with pride this training group is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 386 of the newest, sharpest sailors in the United States Navy. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle flag in recognition of their performance. Two divisions have earned this honor today and we congratulate them on a job well done. and is awarded a CNO honor flag for this exemplary achievement. This designation reflects a high degree of teamwork, morale, and a spirit of core, as well as the superb leadership of their division commanders. Division 1, 3, 0 has earned this honor today.
Rear Admiral Lewis will now present this week's individual awards, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Frobert, Commander of Naval Service Training Command, Rear Admiral Commander Lee, our guest of honor, Captain Lane, and special guest, Captain Bell. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Seaman Sergio Montoya, Division 130 from Hanford, California, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of American Revolution. Seaman Montoya received a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Robinson is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Apprentice William Jacobs, Division 925 from Memphis, Tennessee, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for Best Exemplary to the Spirit and Intent of the Word Shipping. Seaman Apprentice Jacobs is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organizations. Well done, Sailor. Fireman Apprentice Kaleo Martinez, Division 925, from Apple Valley, California, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Fireman Apprentice Martinez is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Admiral. 
The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Fireman William Hostetler, Division 133, from Seattle, Washington, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Fireman Hostetler is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, Sam. Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, Admiral. Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Good morning, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Fireman Nikolai Gunther, Division 131, from Oceanside, California, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter accommodation. Fireman Gunther, the staff of recruit training command, salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, Admiral. Thank you, Admiral. Good morning, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Good morning, Captain. Thank you, Captain. by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjective will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Executive Secretary of Secretary of Defense, Division Chief for Joint Staff, Program and Budget Analysis, Prospective Commanding Officer Instructor for the Submarine Command Course, as well as an Appropriations Management Advisor on the Joint Staff, Squadron Material Officer for Commander Submarine Squadron 8, and Requirements Officer of the Chief Naval Operations Staff. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a 
warm and recruit training command welcome from Rear Admiral Lewis. Good morning. It is an honor to be here today and celebrate these impressive sailors as they join the ranks of the world's finest Navy. From the moment they stepped foot on the well-trod grounds of boot camp, they embarked on a journey of transformation, a journey that tested their physical strength, mental fortitude, and emotional resilience. Those of you in the audience who may not even recognize your sailors now with a newfound swag today. And to reflect, I'd like to raise what John F. Kennedy said about his service. He said, when asked what I am most proud of, I stick out my chest, hold my head high, and state proudly, I served in the United States Navy. In a similarly inspiring way to the words of President Kennedy, each of you have answered the call to duty with selflessness, embracing a cause greater than yourselves. You've conquered battle stations, proving yourselves worthy of donning the cloth of your nation. So many others passed on this opportunity or couldn't bring themselves to meet the high standards. But you, those who stand before us today, you answered the call of our nation. And let me tell you who notices today monumental events. First, your recruit division commanders. They have seen you learn, struggle, prevail. They are proven in the fleet and return to where they first learned about the Navy to build and measure the next generation because they care enough to put their time in. They forged the steel we see before us today and it came with their own sacrifice and toil. So please recognize these great recruit division commanders. The second group that notices you are your families and supporters, many of whom joined today. They believed in you. They inspired you. They helped you become something and someone new. And I pledge to each of those supporters that our Navy greatly values the sacrifices they made for you and for our nation. While you are their legacy, you are now also the legacy of the United States Navy, a proud and lasting heritage that we treasure. Please join me in a round of applause for all of the supporters here today, here online as well. But let me tell you about another group that noticed. Our adversaries noticed. Those who wish harm against the United States noticed. And it is your spirit, your power, your strength that they fear the most and they certainly should. No one defeats the American sailor. Serving on combat patrols today in the Red Sea, steaming proud through the Taiwan Strait, and making adversaries from the Arctic Circle to the Cape of Good Hope know that they cannot prevail at sea against us. As you stand here on the cusp of a new chapter in your life, carry these values you've learned, honor, courage, commitment. Never waver in your dedication to service with integrity and protect the freedoms we hold dear. You're on the brink of one of the most challenging adventures of your career. In choosing to serve your country, you've answered the call at a pivotal moment when America needs you the most, and your presence is crucial worldwide. From the deepest depths of the sea to the infinite reaches of space, you've shouldered the weighty responsibility of safeguarding our nation, and it matters. In closing, may your futures be as bright as the stars that guide us, guide our ships, and may you forever sail with the wind at your backs. Congratulations to our newest Navy sailors.
Super Salute of the graduating divisions, and you'll be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Prober. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty. Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags. Post. Section leaders fall out and retreat out of arms. Gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. 
Sailors going on liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 towards the train station parking lot. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this Liberty Call!